Hi, in this video I'm going to do question 1 from the first step paper from 2010. Um, if you watch these regularly you'll also notice a slightly different format here, so let me know what you think of that, but uh, otherwise we'll get on with it. So it says given that uh, this function on the left hand side can be written in this form on the right, find the constants a, b, c and d, and we're doing that in order to then go on to later solve these simultaneous equations. So we'll bear that in mind, but mainly we'll just follow the instructions and get on with it. So it's quite useful uh, just to have one little prerequisite here. Probably you know that when you multiply out uh, x plus y squared, you get x squared plus y squared plus 2 times x plus y. That's worth just you know, knowing and, and remembering. Similarly, if you have uh, x plus y plus z all squared, something similar happens. So uh, I'm thinking about what I want to do when I multiply out this x minus y plus 2 term all squared. Uh, again, it, you can check this by multiplying it out uh, the long way, but we get x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So, so similar to this, we get the square of each term. And we also, again, get 2 times each pair of terms. So we'd have 2xy plus 2yz plus 2xz, and that generalizes, you know, if we had four things in the, the bracket as well, you know, we'd have each of the terms squared and two times every pair of terms. Uh, so we'll use that here when we multiply this out. And what we want to do then is we want to make the left hand side 5x squared plus 2y squared minus 6xy plus 4x minus 4y. That's got to be equal to a times, so applying this rule, I get x squared plus y squared plus 4 from the square of all of the terms and 2 times all of the pairs so minus 2xy plus 4 times x minus 4 times y uh, and then I get plus b times cx plus y all squared so that's c squared x squared plus y squared plus 2cxy plus d, and uh, now we want to kind of play the game of equating the coefficients, so I want to match up terms in x squared with terms in x squared on the right, etc. So um, it's, it's good if we try now to group these in the same order as the things on the right here. So in the x squared terms, I see I've got an ax squared from the first bracket and a bc squared times x squared from the other one. Uh, so let's uh, cross those out as, I've, as I look at them. And then in y squared, I've got just this a times y squared here, and a b times y squared from this one. So I have a plus b times y squared here. For the xy term, I've got minus 2a here, and plus 2c here. So let, let's write that as 2c uh, minus 2a times uh, xy. Then I have for the x terms uh, plus 4ax here, and that's it. Um, and then I have from uh, the y terms just uh, minus 4ay. And then for the constant terms, I've got a plus 4a here and the d here, so plus uh, 4a plus d. And now I can start matching these terms up. So I want to try and do this in an order that I can get at the, the terms reasonably uh, quickly. So I think if I look at this one here, 4ax, that's just the same as 4x. So I've got uh, 4a equals 4, so that gives me that a equals 1. And we should, of course, check for consistency that all of the terms match up, not just the ones that allow us to find uh, the first uh, that the terms immediately, so actually this one here, minus 4y, is also now consistent with this one, minus 4ay, so that's good. Um, right, this thing here, I can see this one only has an a and a c in it, so that one should now let us find uh, a and uh, find c as well, so I've got here, minus 6xy, so minus 6 equals 2c minus 2a, but a is 1, so uh, so I've just got 2c equals minus 4, so uh, c equals uh, minus 2 there. Um, I could look at the constant term here, 
for a plus d, and that's got to be equal to uh, 0, because there's no constant term here on the right. But again, a is 1, so that tells us that d equals minus 4. And uh, what else have we got to find? Okay, this one here, a plus b for the y squared, uh, so that's a plus b equals 2, but again, a equals 1, so that gives us b equals 1. And we should just check that it does make the last term here match up. a plus bc squared now, well that's 1 plus 1 times minus 2 squared, uh, so that does give us that does give us 5 as well. If you use this one to find c, you've got to be a little bit careful because when you take the square root, you get a plus or minus 2, so you do actually need to use this term uh, to check that. Okay, so we've written this in the form that we want to, uh, so we've got uh, a uh, equals 1, I'm just going to write this at the top here, uh, b equals 1, c equals uh, minus 2, uh, and d equals minus 4. Okay, so, uh, so that's great. We've done the first part. And now let's look at what we're asked to, to do in general. So it says uh, solve these uh, simultaneous equations. So I need to come up with some strategy uh, for, for doing this now. And um, if you're not sure what to do uh, in a step question, kind of doing the same sort of thing again it is often a good way to go. So we've been asked to put this first equation in this form and we've got another equation. So my immediate uh, thought here is to try and put that in in, in the same form. So, uh, so, so let's do that. And the nice thing here is we've already done quite a lot of the work because if we're trying to put it into the same form, this expansion on the right it is going to stay exactly the same. I just need to match up the coefficients here uh, appropriately. So 6x squared plus 3y squared minus 8xy plus 8x minus 8y. Uh, so again, if we go in the same, if we go in the same order here, 4a is equal to uh, 8. So that gives us a equals 2. Um, then we did the green one, which was 2c minus 2a, so a is 2, so that's 2c minus 4, that's going to be equal to minus 8, so that gives us c equals minus 2 again, and then uh, the blue term, so uh, a plus b equals y, so that's so, so, so a plus b y squared, so that's 2 plus b uh, equals 3 on the other side there, so b uh, equals 1, and we've also got the, the constant term here, so 4a, so that's uh, 8, uh, 8 is four, 4 times a plus d, uh, that is going to be equal to 0, so d equals uh, minus 8, and again we should just quickly check that when I work out a plus b times c squared, I get 2 plus 1 times minus 2 squared, so that's 6, and that is the uh, x squared term on the left. Okay, so uh, so the, the second one here uh, is equivalent to uh, 2 times x minus y plus 2 squared plus uh, b here is 1 and c is minus 2 again, so minus 2x plus y squared and minus 8. Okay, so um, so I can get rid of uh, all of this down here now, and we can see why this is useful to try and solve these uh, simultaneous equations. So, um, so we want to rewrite these simultaneous equations using this form that we've been given here. So the first one is just x minus y plus 2 squared plus minus 2x plus y squared minus 4 equals 9 and the second one is 2 times x minus y plus 2 squared plus minus 2x plus y squared minus 8 equals 14 and we're fortunate here then that the second terms have both turned out to be minus 2x plus y because what I can effectively do is think of these as two 
simultaneous equations now where I'm going to I'm going to write a capital A is x minus y plus 2 and capital B is equal to minus 2x plus y and solve for these a and b. Right, so the first equation becomes uh, oh, sorry actually I'm going to take a I'm going to take a and b to be these things squared. Okay, so I just get linear equations here. So I have a plus b equals 9 plus 4 and I've got 2a plus b equals uh, 14 plus 8 uh, which is uh, which is 22. Um, so uh, if we just subtract the first equation from the second here uh, that just gives us immediately that uh, a equals 9 and then we also get that uh, we get that the b equals that the, the, the b equals 4. Um, so um, now uh, we haven't quite finished the question then but we do know uh, that we've got these values of, of a and b so we've reduced the problem now just to solving uh, this one uh, 9 equals this and 4 equals this so I'll um, let's just get rid of this again uh, now it takes a little bit of thought still to, to think about how to solve these uh, equations on, on the right here um, so uh, well now you might try multiplying out and seeing if things cancel, uh, but because they're both in exact square forms, I think we're probably meant to try different cases here. So if we look at the first equation, 9 equals, actually that would give me uh, x plus y, sorry, x minus y plus 2. Um, x minus y plus 2 would either be plus or minus 3, and the other one would give me minus 2x plus y is either plus or minus 2. Okay, so actually I can just take these, uh, you know, each in turn and solve them. So if I do uh, x minus y uh, plus 2 equals 3 and minus 2x plus y equals 2, anything that satisfies these equations will satisfy the blue ones and hence they will satisfy the original problem. Right, so, and these are kind of easy to solve again because I've got already the minus y and this one and the y here. So if I add the two equations together, I just get minus x uh, plus 2 equals 5. So that gives me um, minus x equals 3 or x equals minus 3. And then I get a corresponding uh, solution y equals 2 plus 2 times x. So 2 minus 6, uh, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, 2 minus 6, which is minus 4. So why don't we keep over here somewhere uh, a table of uh, our solutions that we find. So the first one here is x equals minus 3, y equals minus 4. And now I just do the same thing, but with uh, the next possibility. So I could have here uh, 3 and minus 2. Okay. So when I add these uh, two equations together. This time, I'm just going to get uh, the same thing, but this is going to be this is going to be equal to one. So that gives us minus x equals minus one, um, and so uh, x equals uh, one, and then y again is minus two plus two x. So minus two plus two is zero. So I've got x equals one. Uh, y equals y equals zero uh, as a possibility here. Um, and then I can next next possible solution could have minus three for the first one and plus two for the next one. Now when I add these together, I get minus three plus two is is minus one. Okay, so that would give me um, minus x equals minus three. So x equals three and y is equal to minus 2 uh, um, uh, so no, no, now y is actually equal to plus 2 plus 2x two because that minus 2 has has become a, uh, a plus in the equation so 2 plus 2x two would give me uh, 8 so I get 3 and 8 and then finally I could take minus 3 and minus 2 so they add together uh, so they are together to give minus 5 
and then uh, minus x is minus 7, so that gives me uh, x equals 7, and then y equals 2 plus, uh, this is minus 2 again now, so minus 2 plus uh, 14, which is equal to 12, okay? Um, so I get four possible uh, solutions here to the equations, and I think now we are done. This little table of uh, values gives us our four, uh, four uh, solutions, and they will satisfy the original equation. If you want to, you can go back and check by substituting them in, uh, but I'm not going to do that here. I'm happy that we've got uh, correct working here. And we found and we found all of the solutions. So I hope that was useful. Um, let me know uh, what what you think. Um, and uh, we uh, and I will see you in the next video. Do subscribe and like the video if it was useful, and leave me any comments uh, about the new format or any questions about the video. And I will get back to you.